Equalization. Overtones are the many pitches above the fundamental pitch. The lowest note on the piano is A, which vibrates at 27.5. We've talked about that. The highest note vibrates at 4186. We've talked about that. Overtones continue past the audible range of 22,000. They go on indefinitely. Indefinitely. The combination and the balance of these overtones dictate the texture of the sound. And we've talked a little bit about this. Here we've got all of these overtones up there. And those overtones, how loud this one is versus how loud that one is versus how loud this one is, is the texture of your sound. As soon as you go to one of these and change its volume, it's going to change the texture of your sound. That's what we're doing when we deal with the equalizers. We're dealing with all that. So when we equalize, we alter the balance of the frequencies that make up the sound. We alter the texture. So here is a chart that shows you the ranges of those instruments and voices relative to the piano and then relative to uh, 20,000 cycles. Now, we don't see the overtones in this because it all depends on how loud the fundamental pitch is. But now, if those are the fundamentals, right there is the range that those fundamental pitches happen on those instruments, then the overtones go up octaves or two or maybe three octaves above them. The uh, lower limit of the organ goes down below 20, it goes below this keyboard, down to 16. And we can get sounds that we're hearing all the way up to 20,000 that are the overtones. So we have to deal with what instrument do we need to get all of these high ends and what instrument do we need to get the mid-range and the low ends and where do they fall in these frequencies and what microphone am I going to use to do that? And this is a chart to help you figure that out, but also to help you figure out where you're EQing and what is it that you're EQing at this number when you're, when you're dealing with this instrument. As we look at frequencies, the bass woofer would handle frequencies probably up to a thousand cycles per second, where then you would have a cutoff circuitry that would say, oh, everything that comes into this speaker cabinet that's under a thousand cycles I'm sending to the woofer, and everything that's over a thousand cycles I'm sending to the tweeter. The treble tweeter hears everything from a thousand cycles up to twenty thousand. So the bass woofer and the treble tweeter, that's kind of what we're looking at is the speaker and what it deals with. Because there would be a cutoff, a crossover network is what it's called. You know, crosses over at, at a thousand. That crossover network crosses over at a thousand. You know? Some of them they're set differently. So now we can see the different instruments. Look at just in the sax section. You all know baritone sax, tenor sax, alto sax, and soprano sax. The baritone is the lowest, and then goes all the way up to soprano. Well, we have a bass sax, too, that goes down another octave, even lower. And that would make it lower than the tuba. So those instruments, look at the frequencies. They're down 40, 60 cycles per second, those fundamental tones. You've got sounds down there that you need to deal with, you know. And that's what that chart represents.